Hey everybody, this is Mike, and I'm going to do a quick overview specifically on the Unity server. Now the Unity server, again, is the software component that is installed on the Mac computer where all of the settings are located for Unity Intercom. And so if you need to get it, you'll need to go to unityintercom.com. You can click on the free trial and you can download the Unity server. So once you've downloaded the Unity server, and it will install itself into the Applications folder. When you launch Unity Intercom for the first time, you'll be brought up to the Unity Settings page. These settings should be fine in most installations right out of the box, and you shouldn't need to do anything here. Leave the network port number alone. This should work in the vast majority of the installations. You can choose whether or not you want Unity to start at login on your computer. The server audio buffer, this is the best case scenario. Remember, this is a master server audio buffer for all of the devices on Unity, so changes here should only be made if you are experiencing any issues with uh, most of the devices or many of those devices. We're going to keep it on 60 for now. There's no need to really touch anything at this point. Um, we're not going to worry about input device right now. We're going to go up to users. And you, this is the screen where you're going to add users. This is how you get started. I've already made a user. Here's me, Mike. I've enabled myself. Password. I'm an admin. And I've chosen what channels I want to be able to talk and listen on. To add another user, simply come down to the plus button and add a user. Fill in the username. Um, this is their username. And then this is their display name, how, it will, how everybody else will see that user. You can choose whether or not that person's an admin, pick the password, and remember, pick the channels that they are going to be able to talk and listen on. And once you've done that, people can download the free Unity app from the App Store on their iPhones, iPods, or Android devices, log in with the credentials that you picked out for them. Uh, there's more to this, but I'm keeping this, I'm keeping this real simple. This is just how to get going. And then, of course, there's the Upgrades tab. When you're ready to purchase Unity, you would just simply go to the Upgrades tab, and here you can purchase it um, right from this button. The base user uh, gives you, you're actually purchasing Unity, and it comes with three active licenses. And all the other things are kind of listed out right here. Thank you guys very much. That's the Unity server in the brief overview.